Welcome to Charlotte Motor Speedway, here for the running of the Mesmer's 350 here in the Nicktoons Racing League. It is the second race of the season, and we are here tonight at Charlotte for the Mesmer's 350, the second race of the regular season here in the Nicktoons Racing League for season number two. Here is your starting lineup. In row number one, we have the 95 car of Tuck Carbuncle and the 9 car of Jenny Wigman. In row number two, we have the 32 car of Mr. Krabs and the 5 car of Twister Rodriguez. In row number three, we have the 20 car of Swanson Squarepants. He is driving his Kelp Shake Green car today as he is joined in the third row alongside the 22 car of Sheldon Lee. In row number four, we have the 24 car of Patrick Starr and the seven car of Brad Carbuncle driving his black Mesmer's Ford here today. In row number five, we have the 10 car of Timmy Turner and the one car of Auto Rocket. And last and certainly not least, in row number six, we have the 12 car of Sam Dollard and the 39 car of Carl Weezer. As they will start to roll down into the back stretch of this Mesmer's 350 here at Charlotte. This track has changed since the last time we joined here. Uh, here at Charlotte, it has changed a lot. The racing's a lot different. <coughs> Basically because I just changed the driving mode from arcade to simulation. <coughs> but... It has changed a lot, so we should see some very interesting racing here tonight with all these competitors here for the second annual Mesmer's 350. As here we go, they come off of turn number four! The pace car pulls in. We're about to get ready. It's time to go crazy here at Charlotte! As the green flag is out and we are underway! Number 9 of Jenny Wakeman are our way out to a commanding league. All of them are very, very fast through these corners. So we're going to see some very tight three-wide racing. Here it is. Wow. Off of turn number four, lap number two. And goes number five car of Twister Rodriguez trying to make a move on the nine car of Jenny Wakeman. He will clear her. Down the back stretch they go. Seven car of Brad Carbuncle. Right there in his black paint scheme. Mesmer sponsored. As they are, wow. They are starting to get single file now. As the four lead cars, the top five, is all driving away from that main pack. Here comes the one car of Al Rocket trying to make a move here for second on Brad Carbuncle in seven. And while back here, we have, some, we have some good racing for the back spots here. Oh! Oh, wow! Two spots! Almost contact! Nearly! Wow! Lap four. This is a crazy racetrack, folks. It is insanely quick here. Meanwhile, you just see the five car of Twister Rodriguez gone. Absolutely gone from this pack here. Car of Sam Duller trying to make a move here on the 39 car of, I believe uh, that is uh, Carl Weezer for third position. Yes, it is. As he will take it. But here comes Tuck Carbuncle down low on number 95. He's making some head of steam right here. Here on lap number five, here in the back straightaway. Oh, here we go. You may remember these two cats from last week. These were the two who were battling for the race win. Auto Rocket got the race win there. But we'll see if his other... Let's see if his friend can actually get it here tonight. We'll see what happens. As that will be his second career uh, Mesmer's 350 win for Twister Rodriguez. Remember last, last time, last year, he had dominated this racetrack. 
But that was on the old package. This is the new package. So we're going to see Brad, or uh, not Brad Carbungle, excuse me, Tuck Carbungle moving down to the lower position to try and take away the second spot from Auto Rocket. He has Ginny in tow behind him. Comes Ginny down low, too. We'll see how that escalates here throughout the next few laps. Here on lap number seven, only a few more laps to go. Also, the uh, also the race length is also a main reason why this is so crazy now and so hectic. All these cars so close together. As here we go, Jenny Wakeman, and it looks like Tuck Cobbling are trying to make a move, trying to trying to make their way through, trying to catch a draft of a five car, and it looks like they might have it. They are some pretty quick cars, so don't really count them out yet. As we are on lap number nine. Man, so quick with that camera. That's an amazing camera shot. Ooh, Ginny Wakeman trying to go down low. Here for second. Um, Tuck Carbuncle. Wow, right up, uh, right up on her back bumper is the 24 car of Patrick Starr as well. Oh, Patrick Starr making a move here on the inside. And Patrick Starr, I don't know if he's going to take it, but we're going to see what happens. Lap number 10, about to be halfway through this race. And Patrick will take that second position away. But so far, it is Twister Rodriguez out front, dominating this racetrack. As we will go through the field here. Ooh, three wide, about to be... Ooh, that was some very tight racing there between a few cars. That could have been disaster, but it doesn't, so we're good. Ooh, well, well, Patrick Starr will win only his third career win here and tr possibly try and shock <laughs> Twister Rodriguez here. Definitely the dominant car tonight. As everything is all single file, everything's calmed down here on lap number 12. As they head down the back stretch, exiting turn number 2. Yeah, no one's really making a move here on the inside, but that won't take, that won't take too long. As here comes Brad right here making a move on the inside of the 32 car of Mr. Krabs. Pretty his some good history between those two. The battle for the championship comes to mind last year. As here comes Sam Dullard right down low, too, as well. We'll see what happens here as we wind down the laps. It's all about, <laughs> it's going to be the same thing, thing as last year. Who will pass the five? Who will pass them? Who will do it? It's no secret that Twister is definitely dominant at this racetrack, but for just how long will he be dominant at this racetrack? We'll figure that out soon enough. As they start to jockey out of turn number two for positions. Jenny Wakeman looking to try and perhaps see if she can get back up there. So it was Tuck. They're starting to hook up now too. Lap 15. It's all five out in front right now. Here comes... Brad Carbuncle down low in the number seven. He was a contender to win the race last season as well. So we'll see what happens. As he's going to try and pass the 12 car of Sam Dullard on the inside for second. But it looks like Sam's going to fight back. We're going to see some fight in Sam here. It's going to be a battle for a tween second for those two. And it looks like Brad will get it all in all out of the corner and into the... Back straight away. Now Brad has to chase him down. He only has a few more laps to do it. He's on lap 16, about to be 17. We'll see if his Mesmer's Ford can win the Mesmer's. Meanwhile, you have Patrick Starr behind him. Oh man, he's actually gaining a draft too. We'll see this. Let's see how this plays out. 
And that's been a crazy race so far, so we'll see what happens. Caution free race so far as well. Who knows? That could change though. Lap 18. Only a few more laps to go. And so far it is all Twister out front here at Charlotte. So it looks like we have a push. Wow. We have a little bit of a draft um, here for the seven car of Brad Carbuncle. Here's the 39 car of Carl Weezer. It's possibly about to challenge him for second position, but we'll see what happens. We will figure it out here. Lap 19. Next time by it will be the final lap for Twister Rodriguez. Can Twister go back to back Mesbers? 350 wins two seasons in a row. We'll figure it out right now. White flag is out. One more time around for Twister Rodriguez in the five. Here comes, here comes what looks, oh man, he might actually be able to get a second place finish. We'll see what happens. This could be pretty good for his points. We'll see if he can get it. Coming off of the back stretch though, it's going to be Twister all day. Absolutely dominant performance for Twister Rodriguez. In that five car tonight. As he will come across turn number four. And win the Mesmer's 350. For the second year in a row. Twister will win the Mesmer's 350. Wow. Dominant performance. That really didn't change much. That package. That new package. If anything that just made him faster. Wow. That is really really good for the five car of Twister Rodriguez. And I don't know where, where Carl Weezer finished, but it looks like he finished second. But we'll have to check the race standings, and we will here in, a, here in a second. But what a good win. Regardless, by Twister Rodriguez in the five car, he will win the Mesmer's 350. So, without further ado, let's go and take a look at the rest of the race standings. As your race results look like this. Coming in first, Twister Rodriguez, he will win his second annual Mesmer's 350. Second is Carl Weezer. Third is Brad Carbuncle. Fourth is Sam Dullard. Fifth is Tuck Carbuncle. Sixth is Jenny Wakeman. Just outside the top five for Jenny. Seventh, Auto Rocket. Last race is winner. Down in the bottom five. Eighth, SpongeBob SquarePants. Ninth, Timmy Turner. Tenth, Patrick Starr. Eleven, Mr. Krabs. And twelfth, Sheldon Lee. As both those drivers will not get any points for their position, they will remain at a goose egg for this race. As here is your point standings heading into race number three. Thank you for watching. We will see you guys soon. Take care. Please.